The sculpture vault by Ron Robertson Swan from 1980 is in painted steel. It's an edition of 12. It relates, of course, to the very noted and uh, infamous, as it were, outdoor sculpture vault, which was commissioned by the Melbourne City Council in 1978. Ron Robertson came to the commission originally uh, with, in an attempt to place a purely abstract form within a busy metropolitan area. He wanted to use the contrast of the bright yellow against the rather sober grey-ish brick and stone of a Melbourne city square. He did so, he carried out the commission and it was placed in Melbourne city centre. From there, there arose a whole range of protests around the nature of the sculpture itself, its abstract nature. People weren't quite used to seeing things commemorating not so much the work of an individual and most normally a, a male on top of a plinth. Ron Robertson Swan is one of Australia's most illustrious sculptors. He had a full academic training. Indeed, he worked in London under Anthony Caro at what is now thought of as the sort of hotbed of abstract sculpture in the 60s in the UK at St Martin's College of Art. He worked alongside Tim Scott, David Annesley, Michael Bowlers, all notable English sculptors. Ron Robertson Swan, like Caro, also was an assistant to Henry Moore. So the tradition was being passed from one you know, bastion of sculpture to another. Caro was at the forefront of this new sculpture. Caro had taken a lot from the sculpture of David Smith and also abstract painting, American abstract painting. What he did was quite radical, as it was quite simple. The notion of space, the notion of what we do with our bodies in sculpture was being changed. He worked much more on a horizontal plane. He worked with purely abstract forms. He gave a new place for the body in sculpture. As the figure came down from the plinth, Caro explored space, as I say, horizontally. Von Robson Swan and his other young charges worked for him and produced an incredible body of work that went on to be shown in major exhibitions in the United Kingdom particularly. Ron Robertson Swan approached Vault using the same terms. At the large scale, the sculpture cries out to be inhabited. That is, to be walked through, to be walked under, to be felt around us with its presence. It had, as I say, uh, a very uh, strong reaction from, you know, uh, the public, hence the reason for it being moved on the many occasions that it was. But Ron Robertson Swan, you know, approached the subject with some verve and he carried out the commission successfully. Vault is now much more an accepted part of our sculptural landscape and within Melbourne much more a part of the landscape of people's thinking about public sculpture. This version that we have is in addition, as I have said, it comes through necessity. As Ron Robertson Swan approached the sculpture, he had to make prototypes in wood, he had to work in steel at a smaller scale. This comes, you know, post the completion of Vault and is made in 2012, but it takes on the very things. It is an exact replica at a different scale of Vault itself.